Good morning, everybody. I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed day. And thank you for visiting my channel. As you see, today we have um, it's a partial crotch of California oak. Uh, home dog oak, red oak, black oak. Uh, there are a bunch of names. And again, must be the weather because this thing is also it's been okay though years after years all of a sudden now it start creating this and you could see it's only I could something we'll see how to stop it but I don't think it's gonna do that very well. So, just gonna make it my this week project. This thing's heavy. Anyway, so we see I have a, a line here. So, I'm gonna attempt to cut this straight as best as I could and get a fresh cut from here too uh, you see the bark uh, matter of fact this piece the bark just came apart too just kind of like let go it was like a quarter of inch a little bit over a quarter of inch gap between them you could still see some gap left here but this is a part of leftover bark but if you turn this thing around, you can see there is none here. Matter of fact, if you come to the side, you'll see there is none here either. And if you come to the bottom, you don't see it, but you could see where it ended anyway. Just about this area. So I assume this is bark. And maybe an inclusion like that you know this is like like the burrow so and this is a natural just except the box came off it and I like it but what to do so well, I'll cut and clean up some of the corners and stuff and get ready. I have to think about what this one want to be. I'll see you guys in a few. I just have to do this cut and clean the bottom can't do much about here and can't do much about here so I might just run it on this belt sand to get it cleaned up and they even a crack here and what the heck is that but there's another crack here anyway so let me see what I could come up cut yep. this well, I got a clean surface, sand it down, put a sand and sealer on it, filled up all the cracks with CA glue and some sawdust. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's so smooth, but I, it's a saw cut plus a, up to two, 250, 220. I sand it down and I put a sand and sealer just on this area here because I don't want to touch this area so this is going to stay where I I have something in mind I'm not sure there are some difficulties in a way and it requires on and off flipping it a few times but First thing I have to do it is 
uh, set a, a racer so I grab it with my chuck from here because I need to work on the back and set another piece same thing and then flip it again so it's going to go back and forth a few times what I have in mind I don't know if this thing is going to handle it or not but like I said I uh, I cleaned up all the service like you say there's a that was the biggest one I filled it up from both ends with CA glue so for right now I'm going to leave the surface alone uh, because I don't know how it will look but I gotta clean an area here, get a basis for the chuck. That's first. And uh, I still don't know how fast I can run it, so let's see. Yeah, about 400, so. Much better. All right, I'll bring you guys back when this thing's heavy, so. I get to flip it. I'm gonna get ready for cleaning this up and removing that setup. Um, I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm attempting something. So I'm gonna let you guys guess. Just in case I mess it up, I could say I meant to do that. <laughs> anyway, so see you in five. About 450, the best I could do right now. As you guys see, I marked where I'm gonna grab it later. I am still not sure what I'm gonna do. I have something in mind, but I wanna see you guys if you could guess it along. Uh, but this thing still my worries. Like I said, this only shows here, and you see it's not here, and definitely it's not showing further than and here from the top beyond that is solid that's what it seems so i am going to remove most of that so we'll find out as we go
Hi everybody. As you see, I have this thing sanded down from 80 to about 600. It took me like six hours. I was so tired by then. I had to do most of all that by hand because I did it with the lathe running. One of the wind got me here and that was a another story for another time don't do it again so i end up doing it the hard way of sanding everything by hand uh and you know like i said i don't think you guys wanted to watch that anyway it was just like hours of doing this you know so but i got it where pretty much i'm comfortable with it and Decided I don't think I could do any more sanding. So I am gonna put a uh, sand and sealer over shine just thing on it and just to protect it for right now from cracking and any further. Like I said, it's not something very, very comfortable to work with, so not something you could see it's very very awkward I know I made it that way all right see you guys in 30 good morning everybody it's the next day, as you see, I <clears throat> finished, uh, I put a, a tiki oil on it yesterday, and this morning, oh, it looks good. So it's time to um, turn it around. I'm pretty sure by now you guys have an idea what this thing would will be as you see i already flipped it and got it ready uh, uh you guys could see it right i'm missing a corner yeah i barely run 100 and like i said this is bark and here about a quarter of an inch here about a putt I mean, it looked like water, but if you think about it, it's only two milli in the cup. Uh, so that's all I was holding it. So as soon as it ran about a hundred, I lifted. I, I, I should have taped the whole thing with tape, masking tape, and I would have saved it. But uh, in a way, actually, I kind of liked it because it shows the the burr over here it had some burr over here too as you see but you know it is what it is i'll use it for a pin or something i never made a pin but i may do a pin with it or something anyway so as you see it's ready and i ran it earlier without this without taping it as fast as i could go maybe about five and it was it's about vibrating matter of fact. It is on fire right now. And I had to get a clean, a brand new uh, carbon tip. The other one wasn't cutting very well. So let's continue hauling on this. And I'm not mistaken, Part of this video, my camera stopped recording, I think. Uh, I see a blank spot right now, so it might stop recording. And I didn't notice it, but it shows my memory is full, so I have to fix some problems. Anyway, let's continue on this. And I still cannot run it more than 500. This is my speed. Ouch. 
Standing and all that, and bring you guys back when I'm ready for sanding. Finish sanding up to 400. So I am gonna clean it with the teenager alcohol. There's a lot of dust on it from inside and out, but of course, I need more teenager alcohol. I'm just it off. But I did sand it to up to 400. And I did sand 400 on the face just to give it fresh face because I didn't want to touch that at all. So I'm going to clean it with teenage alcohol and then put the uh, uh, tiki oil and teenage alcohol 50 50 so this thing could absorb it. And Okay, I'll bring you guys back in 30 minutes. Later. Mm, it's been 30 minutes, so I'm gonna do that quick too. So I'm gonna mix my 50-50 tiki oil and teenage oil alcohol and dump some in here. And just use the brush to brush it in and let it dry. As you see, I finished uh, outside and the the, the whole face on offside uh, with uh, five coats of uh, tiki oil and then I uh, let it dry and then I put uh, Mahoney's finisher bowl finisher and I wait for about 30 more minutes to dry so right now I'm gonna do the same thing with uh, uh, Howard you know feed wax so and that's what I'm doing right now and I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready for it in the end until then later hi everybody I flipped this thing and have it ready for uh, just to remove this and polishing you know, sand and call it done. So, again, like I said earlier, I mean, this thing, it's, it is what it is. 500 is my max RPM. So I'm gonna stand from 180 to uh, 400 and I'll bring you guys back on uh, the final display. See you later. Hi everybody. As you see, I sand the area down and uh, did the same thing, clean the tinted alcohol, put a tiki oil and all that. So. It's done. I do. I just got that little nub I have to remove. Uh, quarter of inch ball gouge. And 
just 300. I don't need too much. It's just a little nub. I just get a rest on it until it'll get cut. That's the idea. And burn my stamp. Okay, can I burn my stem? Be right back. And there it is, finally done. I hope you guys do like it. And I hope you guys do figure out what it is. I know it looks like a bowl. Actually, it is a floating bowl. The bowl is not touching the base, as you see. It stands on those two legs. No, it's not a bowl. This thing already, it was a little pain hollowing it around the way it is on the inside without breaking that little piece. But it came out pretty good inside and out. So, You guys are gonna figure out what it is right now. I'm just gonna put this napkin in the bottom just to hold moisture. And this is the plate where it holds the water. And this thing, it is a home for this. I've been asked to make something for it for a while. And this piece of oak just perfect for it so i hope you guys like it you do you know what to do thumbs up you don't thumbs down you know the routine i do appreciate all the comment god bless you all Thank you.